Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock, this is Captain's Vlog. We are in the ETR at the moment, the engine control room, as today, uh, Slavin, the chief engineer, is gonna be servicing the two generators. Um, so to show you guys what the process is to, to service a generator on a super yacht, it's now middle of the season, uh, so let's go through to the garage, see Slav, and he's gonna talk us through the initial process and what he needs to go through before he starts servicing the two generators. Hey Slav. Hi, hello, hello, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel, <laughs> to the welcome back to the <laughs> vlog. Welcome to the garage. Yeah, so, so at the moment, before we get yes. into it, the refueling video is the most successful video on the YouTube channel. I mean, I, I couldn't believe it. How, what do you think about it? I think it's very exciting yeah. and uh, one of my uh, good friends, excellent friends, who is also the captain on a motor yacht and uh, he's sailing on uh, F-18, he said very, uh, very, uh, how I said, uh, in interest video. Yeah. Lots of yachting people, greeny, yes. who is coming like deckhand or like uh, start a deckhand engineer, they can learn lots of from from us yeah so i think it's very good to have like this uh, channel and uh, we go forward yeah so today just one second so for for you guys that haven't seen the video it's called refueling a super yacht i'll be posting a link just here now and you can click on that and watch it after this yeah. video and so what's happening today slab for today i because we have time and i my plan is to make service on one generator and discharge dirty oil tank or sludge tank. It's this, sometimes it's both, sometimes it's everything in one. So for a service generator, it's run, running uh, up to 500 running hours. So every 500 hours we need to service the generators? Uh, no, uh, every 250 running hours. Okay. So we make last uh, time uh, 250 running hours yes the, this is basic uh, service just uh, fuel uh, filters oil filters check the, the airs and change the oil today we need to make the same disc plus seawater pump for, for generators right and uh, during the time I need also to send the, the oil for analyzing so I need the first to warming up generator take oil out and then I can start uh, with service. Right. Oh, after. Now I need to start the generator. Yeah. But also. But it says don't start work in progress. Before I, I uh, start uh, working on generator, I need to switch off the batteries. Yes. To not start. It. But how we are on short power, I don't know. Are they coming black out or yeah. something? One battery will be on because the second generator. It's our first priority and it's standby in case of blackout. Yes. So I can work on one generator, second it's standby. Yeah. So thank you. Starting. So starting generator. So what, what Slav is saying is uh, with the system we got on board, if we have a blackout on shore, what I mean by that, if the electricity was to cut out, then automatically the um, generators will come on and power up the boat. So we don't want that to happen, obviously, during the service. So what he does, he hits the emergency stop and turns off the main batteries for the, 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 two, the two generators, or for the one generator at a time. Um, so he'll service one at a time and then switch over in case there is a blackout. So now what he's doing, he's now started the port side generator. The reason he's done that is because uh, he, he wants to heat up the oil because then to to empty the oil sump is easier when the oil's warm because it's uh, it's a lot less thick, it's the thinner um, fluid, and it'll come out a lot easier. So now he's warming it up, and then once it's nicely warmed up, he'll then take his sample and then empty the, the oil out. Here, here, I will put this small tube yes. through the dipstick. Be enough, huh? Yeah, like this, and the oil will come, come in. Here. 
Look at that. And there's the sample, simple as that. Okay, so what's the... So what you've done now is you've emptied the oil sump. Yes. Okay, so what's the next phase now? So next phase is uh, to take out oil filter, fuel water separator and, and final water separator fuel filters. Okay. Crankcase breathing element uh this is uh, usually they save one time per month but every 250 hours it's better to change okay and when i change all of these filters i will take out the filters from a turbocharger just blow with air and these filters is changing every 600 running hours or one time per year okay so Right, so the first step is to remove the oil filter. Oil filter because it's, they have more space and you can easy to remove. Okay, and so you put a rag underneath just in case of any spillage. Case, yeah, and these filters no need to be too much tight. So yeah. just when you tight, you tight by, by hand. Hand tight. Yeah, but for take out, sometimes it's going by by hand. Okay, if so not going by hand, we have the spanner. Yeah. Put around Special filter remover, Special yeah. Fil and that just make like this. Okay. When start easy, then go by hand. But as you just demonstrated and moved by hand, so that was that was perfectly installed. Yes. And then you got a bucket there on standby. I have bucket standby because uh, before to throw away these filters, I need to to drain. Drain the oil. Because the pump and pumping out oil from the tank from the sump tank, you cannot uh, pumping all from the filters. So you see. Mm -hmm. I will fill up the filter with new oil. Right. So. <laughs> Clean oil. Clean oil. Already covered in oil. There it's we go. Already covered. So, we can so on some filters, what you need to do, the gasket is above the oil level, is to get some clean oil, and you literally just smother the gasket uh, or the O-ring, better said, with with oil. And the reason you do that is when you come to then to remove it, it's a lot easier and a lot smoother, and it creates a better seal as yeah. well. And now you screw that back on. That's it. Just that by is hand. It. No hand no, side. Hand side. No any spanners. No nothing to be hard. Just how it's going. And that's that's it. it. That's Easy got for clean oil and clean filter in the... Yes. Uh, Pump is still on so I can fill up the oil. Into the sump. Into the sump. Through oil cap. Off, oil cap off. It's like this. And now it's again on. How many liters should it? How many liters should it, should it normally should it normally take? Around, around twenty, eighteen around to twenty. Eighteen to twenty liters. All the way down. Only a few seconds. Right. Right there. Okay, so you now have changed the oil filter, you filled up the oil sump, what's the next step? Now the next step is fuel filter. So we have two, 
one behind yep. this one, one and, and two, two. first second so uh, for changing these filters I need to fill up this jug and then when I put new filters inside I, put, I fill up to, uh, I see to, okay to make easier bleeding system right yeah, so we will see do we see is it any water inside but this is clean diesel just on the cover by the spanner Yep. And this color take off. This rubber garbage. This is the filter. This paper tape off. Keep the rubber gasket. Rubber or gasket. The O ring. Yeah. Yep. Put it on. Screw that back on to the new one. Yeah. this we fill up slowly The filter must go easy to to up. Yep. So slot in. When in. This going on ninety degrees. Yeah. Going yep. up. Okay. So, so now. So now for changing the record filter, this paper filter. I need to close inlet and outlet. Yep, which you've done. Done. Uh, uh, this is the drain valve, so I need to first with a shifting spanner to unloose the, the bolt. And inside it's uh, also around maybe a liter, one, one liter or something. I, this is secure, secure uh, the plug. Yep. So I will put this because it's less and open. Open. So now the the fuel not going proper because it's no it's air. closed. No no air. So now we I will just top. losing the plug. Yeah. So this is the clean. So th this is also one one uh, improvement that our separator really work going automatically, but our system is different. And there, inside there, is the old filter. Yes. Ideally, you won't be wearing gloves for this job, eh? Yeah, but usually... So, inside... Let's put the camera in front, Anna. Okay, so inside, it looks... It looks yeah. clean, It's huh? cleaner. Yeah, I cannot see, but... 
that's good because usually for this filter they say 500 running hours right but if we change on 250 it's better you filter it anyway filters. so you may as well change yes. it why not It's easy to change. Yeah, two seconds. Boom. The old one. Out with the old, in with the new. Yeah. That's it. So now I go to throw away this to the garbage. And yep. Then we fill up with fuel. And fill up with less amount. Easy to pour. And easy to, to fill up the now we got the lids with the new seal. Record. You always, I always put to to be carry. Some you can put like this or this. But yeah. I think always better. Yeah. And now what I will do is repeat the that exact same process on the next filter. This is turbocharger air filter. Right. So this and we can also inspect the turbocharger. Oh yeah. Turbocharger is clean. It looks good to me. It looks good, but always important to check the bearing and yeah. to see if there's any wobble. Yeah. No have any uh, when you're turning by head by finger, no have any stuck or uh, or movement or movement no because it's only gonna go, go around yeah. yes so this is good just make the surface bit of a wipe wipe not, not too bad not, no not there, there that, that, that's good clean so this, this filters working doing the job if we catch check inside it's clean yeah usually this this filters is coming oil and dirty on the on the back of this when you make check you make like this yeah, we have stay, stay stay black on so this filters it's clean it's clean and no need no need to to change no have any dust no put on on right position to close the turbo charger in filter must stay straight and then put the housing on the housing so here we have the seawater inlet you've got the strainer which is in in here and now what he's going to do strainer. is shut off the valve for the and i will Jenny. just shut off so if you remember no. guys for those of you who've been following the channel for a while this is part of the job we did over the winter so you can see the valve is still looking brand new the strainers got all taken out, reconditioned, repainted, re-earthed, reinstalled. So now what Slav's gonna do, he's just finding the inlet line and he's gonna shut down the, the intake. Can I, can I please? So what he's gonna do now is place off the valve there. Generator valve, yeah, water intake. But in any case, I can close also this. This is butterfly valve. Mm -hmm. And usually... Get out of the way. This is... I'll put it like this and these two holes I don't need to disconnect yeah I will take off just cover to inspect the impellers I should have used um, Philips for those it needs to be spoiler 10. So you heard it here guys, make sure you're not running your Generator. journeys without seawater. Clean your strainers, I would say 
no less than every month, once a month. Check your intakes, make sure it's always clear. And uh, as Slav said, you know, you want to be monitoring also uh, the this impellers. Is this coming from... So look here. It's being removed, sorry. There we go. Oh. <clears throat> So what do we think here? I think impeller is good, but in any case, I will change it. Good. But slowly by screwdriver to not make any damage. On impeller you can make damage, but on housing, no. Yeah, and there we go. Let's see the condition here of the impeller. Yeah, look, you got some damage, it needs changing. Yeah. There we it's, go. It needs to be changed. Here we have the new impeller. Yes. The new okay. impeller. Brand new, out of the box. Yes. We put it here. And what have you got in here for the viewers, Slav? What's this for? The secret. The secret to help secret. to lubricate it, to pop it in, huh? Yes. Always. We all know we need some good lubrication in now and then to pop it in. Yeah. But I need to check. Yeah, you gotta work it there, Slav. Some friendly, need some friendly encouragement there, Slav. Good old fashioned rubber mallet. Yeah. So, when it doesn't go in gently, you gotta force it, guys, I'm afraid. Even if you're using grease and lubrication, sometimes you just got to ram it in. So, no eccentric. There we go. This is eccentric. And how I put in. how I put the grease, grease is stop it. And you need just little to, to push. You heard it here first guys, just apply a bit more pressure. Right, so what's gonna happen now, Slav's basically gonna put the, the, the uh, inlet pipe back on, then put the housing on for the uh, seawater pump, and uh, wait for the other parts to arrive and continue the generator service. Open this, take out, this is start all ready to be covered, so garbage. We have inside some amount of from the fumes, from the oil. Okay, yeah. so what, you want to put that in the buckets? Water. Gasket. Gasket. There we go. Boom. Boom. Easy as that. The anodes are used to stop electrolysis. Yes. And on some boats, this plug is also from the zinc. So when zinc going off, the, the water coming out. Yeah, okay. We, we have brass, so that's good. Yes. Yeah, you can see it's doing its job. It's doing job. Yeah. Right, so we've got this in comparison, guys. There's the old one. Old Let's try some new ones for that. Look at that. Look at the compare the difference there. Amazing. So, and on 1000 running hours, or no, on 2000 running hours, coming heat exchanger out. Valve leash. Clearance of the valves, heat exchanger, injectors. Put that in. Okay guys, so that pretty much sums up the service for the port side generator. And then what Slav's gonna do, you can do the exact same on the starboard side. Um, so this gives an insight of how many hours we've got to uh, service the generators and how long it takes. So it takes probably a couple of hours for each generator to be serviced. 
And uh, so really hope you guys enjoy that video. If you haven't done already, please do consider subscribing. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button. We've got other great videos on this channel, so feel, feel free to check them out. I look forward to seeing you guys next video.